And and on review of, of Saturday, Eddie, any other thoughts on, on what you took from the defeat and then moving forward to France? Uh, enormous pride uh, from the team's performance. I think, you know, if you take out the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes, we probably shaded Ireland um, and played with a lot of tactical discipline, a lot of determination, a lot of togetherness. And I think, you know, the 82,000 people out there enjoyed what they saw. Um, but we're disappointed with the result, mate, and, and we've got one chance to to uh, to go against, against France, who are playing for a Grand Slam at their home ground. So there's no better opportunity for us to, to show what a good team we can be. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you, Chris. Martin, please. Hi, Eddie. Uh, given who you're playing against and what your ultimate target is, which is a World Cup next year, the fact that this is actually happening where a World Cup final will be happening against the best team in Europe, is, it, is this the ultimate acid test of where we can judge where we are at the moment without caveats? Oh, well, it's, a, it's a test, mate. It's the next test and it's the most important test and we're looking forward to it. You know, we, we're playing against... Uh, a French team that's undefeated in the Six Nations. Um, and it, it's a good opportunity for us to find out where we're at. And can we judge you where you're at by what happens over 80 minutes this weekend? Uh, well, I think you're always judged by your last game, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Martin. Duncan Beck, please. Hi, Eddie. Did, did you learn anything about your players or, or team from Sassé's performance that you didn't already know? Uh, well, just a, a growing knowledge that this team's got great spirit. Um, we've got a nice mix of experienced player and younger players coming through. Yeah, we'll learn a lot from that game, uh, particularly in, in closing that game down where we had the opportunity to. Um, just a great learning experience for the team and I think it shows those young players who are coming through are going to be very good players in the future. Sure. In your opinion, just how good are France? I mean, obviously they're on for the Grand Slam. They've been talked up a lot. Just how good are they? Yeah, look, they're a very good team. They've got a very good tactical approach to the game. They use the strengths of their players well. They're well coached. They've got power. They've got pace and they've got skill around the ruck. Thanks, Eddie. Cheers. Thank you, Duncan. Alex Bywart, please. Hi, Eddie. Um, I appreciate he's obviously only just joined the squad, but would Jack Willis be ready and sort of up to speed enough to, to play on Saturday? Oh, I couldn't tell you that yet, Alex. I'd need to see him train tomorrow. OK, but given that obviously Tom Curry's out and, and Sam Underhill, um, you know, you've been honest that he's potentially not up to speed. What are some of the other your backer options to come in for Tom, do you think? Well, Jack's obviously an option, mate. But as I said, I need to see him train tomorrow. And if he trains well tomorrow, then he could be an option. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Alex. Do we have any other questions for the live section? Okay, if not, we'll end the live section there. Could we politely ask the broadcasters to leave the call or Charlotte will put you in the waiting room if you have access afterwards? Thank you.